Tanner, tech Tanner, tech Tanner, Tanner, tech Tanner, tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today we're going to be taking my drone on a little bit of an adventure. So, as you can see, it doesn't look like a normal racing drone right now. It looks like an overloaded minivan from one of those movies. Well, pretty much what this is, is it is all the components that are necessary to power this 50 watt LED light bulb on the bottom from the actual light battery, which is why I have a larger flight battery on it. So this thing is going to fly, and it's going to shine this extremely bright spotlight on the ground, and it's going to look like an alien spaceship that's just flying around. It's going to look really cool, like out of a movie. So let's take a look at the drone and see how it works. Okay, so right here is the drone itself. As you can see, it has my Tanner Tech logo on it. Pretty cool. But let me explain some of the parts that make this work. So if you remember this video about the 50 watt flashlight, well, in that 50 watt flashlight video, I built a 50 watt flashlight with some LEDs and a power supply. Now, sadly, that 50 watt flashlight got dropped and all the electronic components were scattered. But these are all the different components. So on top, we have something called a boost converter. And this takes the 12 volts from the battery, or 12.6, and steps it up all the way to 32 volts to power the light emitting diode on the bottom. If we take a look at the bottom, we can see the LED. Now, the reason this LED is on a heatsink is because it gets extremely hot during use. That means that it'll need to be cooled, otherwise the LED will burn up. And since we have four giant propellers blowing full force down here, some of that air is going to come through here in eddy currents and cool off the heatsink. So that's pretty much how everything works on here. It looks like a big overloaded minivan. This is the potentiometer that controls the brightness of the light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out at night into this field, power up the LED, and see what it does. I have the LED connected to the battery through the balance connector. So if I connect this, you can see the LED is actually running. If I turn up the light, it gets super bright. Okay, let's get going. You saw it crash into those bushes and the light went out. Well, it's another conspiracy that's been covered up by those government officials. Anyway, when our little UFO crashed into the bushes, we got some minor damages. Like uh, the battery, one of the leads got severed by the propeller when it crashed because it was going so fast. And the transmitter antenna on the back got bent out of shape and broke like all the solder leads holding the grounding plane in place to the transmitter. So a lot of the things got broken, and uh, that's fine, because they can all be fixed. But anyway, I think one thing that I could do better next time with this quadcopter is to add uh, light to each of the different blades of the thing, so that way I can see which direction it was going. Because one thing I had an issue with is seeing what direction, because all I saw is this light blinking straight down. And it's unlike day when I can look through the FPV camera and see which direction I'm going. So that was the cool UFO that crash landed in the middle of that desert. And that video with the light was pretty cool. You can see how it's shown. Now I'm going to probably make a, an update of this where I add navigation lights to my drone so that way I can fly it better and get some cooler shots and cooler videos from it. So, as always, thanks for watching. By the way, that Instructables contest that I was asking you guys to vote for me for, I kind of won it. Now I won third prize, which is a Bluetooth speaker like this. Now, it wasn't the first prize, which was the, the laptop computer, the Phantom Drone, but it's still pretty cool. So thanks to all of you who voted for me in this Instructables contest. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time. Ooh.